What's up guys? So we have another video today. Today we're gonna do the lower transmission mount that goes into the torque mount. So first of all, you're gonna have to take off your skid plate. So for your skid plate, it's 13 millimeter bolts and 10 millimeters and a T40 torque spit for the rears. You're gonna jack up your vehicle and then you're gonna take off your skid plate and then we'll get under there and we'll go from there. So if you guys see at this point, you see me reaching my hand into my skid plate, I have stripped the nuts that actually mount to the Jeep. So I had to use an external nut on top of that to hold my skid plate on there. So now that you got your skid plate off, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go under and then you're going to, let's get under here, locate the mount I'm talking about, which is this one. Oops, sorry guys, there's one right here. So, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a jack, you're gonna support your transmission, and then you're gonna take it off. You can get a 16 mil and it will fit right on there. So. To get the bolt out, you're gonna need to remove your exhaust from the hangers and just be able to move it so you can slide the bolt out. Just need that little bit of extra play. All right guys, so you're gonna need to take out this bolt too to get rid out the torque mount so you can actually remove your transmission torque mount. But yeah, again, 16 mil will get it off or actually a 5.8 as well. Okay, so these, there's three bolts on the part. Uh, part's more to be found. So three bolts on the part. There's one at the bottom, two at the top. Those are gonna be your bane of existence. That's the only issue I'm having right now is getting those off. So you might need a swivel head adapter to a breaker bar so you can get them broken free. And then you can also use them to get, ah, I just gotten oil dripped on my nose. Oh, that's hot. Oh, cool. But yeah, three bolts. One at the bottom, two at the top. And also, like I said, this bracket up there, right here, you just slide that back out of the way. That is your torque mount. So you just slide that out of the way and then try and get the other ones off. So I'm gonna keep trying. So I finally have broken them free. <laughs> These are a pain. Here, I'll show you. So, there's the bottom one, and then the top two are up there. You have to take out that torque mount so you can actually get a proper, proper actual angle attack on it. But those are the ones you have to get out. Also, I would like to add, make sure you actually eat something, stay hydrated while doing these things. I got actually quite nauseous from being upside down working. So just take care of yourself and eat something and be hydrated. All right, guys. So this is the old mount. It is, as you can see, destroyed. Okay, guys, so we got them off now. So I'll show you. This is the old one. Oh, I don't want to drop my new one yet. So this is the old one. You can tell the bushings are gone. Like they are destroyed. So that part we just do eat and ta-da! 
new fancy one. It's actually a lot lighter too than the original one. The original one weighs about like three, four pounds. This weighs maybe a pound and a half, honestly. So we're gonna put this one on now. Okay, so let's get under there and I'll show you where it goes. Even though you should already know because you just took off the other one. <laughs> also, make sure you have your transmission supported just in case. Like it already has the engine mounts and everything else, but for safety, make sure it's supported. Huh. Okay, so I'll show you where it goes. Okay, so right there, and this goes like that. Ta-da! Simple, very human. Make sure when you go to put the bolts back in, hand tighten them first before using any tools, just so you can make sure that the threads are aligned and you're not gonna cross thread it. All right, so now we have the mount all put in. Time to put in the other broken one until I get a new one, but we got the new ones in. I'll put the torque specs like I always do at the end of the video. and then just redo what you did to take the torque strut off to put it back on. And just like that guys, it's all done. Everything's back up and torqued together. We'll put all that again at the end of it. Now you just gotta remount your exhaust, put your skid plate back on and then you're done. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mount. In we go. So we have now done the Transmission torque mount is what I'm going to call it because I actually don't know what it's actually called. Because every time I look up and trying to find the part, it is impossible. I had to get the part from the actual dealership. I usually buy all my parts on Rock Auto. I could not find this one part. So just try it. And if you can't find it on Rock Auto, go to your dealership. I will also put the part number for that piece in so you at least can have the part number and find it. So, and then you just, you put in your exhaust hanger bolts back in. Very human. Uh, don't need that anymore. But yeah, once you get all that done, put your skid plate back on, and then you're ready to go for a rip, bud. protection is very key i don't know where mine are don't be like me listen to osha osha violations um shit shit uh yeah, come on fuck <laughs> okay make sure when you do this you do it properly and move the ones that you need in first For me, also made a makeshift hanger for it, for my, yeah, where did it go? Why did I, huh? 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 I lost the screw. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I'll deal with it in a minute. And from this point you put everything back together put your skid plate on i did have the video for all this but it corrupted when i tried to make the video 
So I apologize, but it's very simple. Just reverse everything you did to take off, put it back on. All right, guys, thanks for joining with me. Now you've seen how to change out the one mount on your transmission that connects to your torque strut mount. And we will go from there. I will be doing an engine mount one video very soon. So here's to you watching this video. Thank you.